Hello guys, so today we're going to look at Foxtel Play. Now, obviously you guys know that Foxtel Play is now called Foxtel Now, but they haven't updated it yet on the Blu-ray player. Now, it is coming soon, so hopefully we see it before uh, maybe May or something. It's been a long time, especially when Foxtel Now came out about November time. It could have even come out earlier. I don't actually remember when it came out, but they should have updated everything. They've updated the PS4, they've updated the Telstra TV, I don't know why they haven't updated the um, Xbox, so it's very weird they haven't updated all the apps at the same time. It's, I don't know why they haven't. So let's go take a look into Foxtel Play. Now most of you guys would know this, but I wanted to make a video for some people that have a smart Blu-ray player lying around. If it's Samsung, LG or Sony, you're eligible to get Foxtel now, technically. So, we'll load Foxtel Play up. Remember, Foxtel Play and Foxtel Now are the same login details, so keep that in mind. So, we will look at the oh, um, Anytime. Now, as you know, now it's called On Demand, but obviously it's um, not called that on this. So, let's um, have a look. So, you can look best of HBO. We're just not, we're not really going to get into detail. We're just going to show you a bit of um, what they've got here. Now, it is a bit laggy. Now, as you should be able to see that... Um, a tiny bit laggy. Now I've backed away. Okay, here we go. Best of HBO. So it's going to load up all the HBO now. This is included with the pop pack, which is $15 a month. So if you're wondering, that's all included in the pop pack. Do not join the drama pack if you're wanting a showcase. Do not join it because you will not get it. You get it in the pop pack. So keep that in mind. So, we'll back out. As you see, um, you can just look at your TV shows. But that's that's one of the things I wanted to show you. Like, if we look at comedy, you'll get all the comedy stuff. Now, if you see, like, a little key, um, that means you're not subscribed. Okay. So, I'll go back, and one one more thing we'll show you on um, any time, and then we're going to show you the guide, is the channel options. So, you can click on any channel for your certain on-demand content, so as you see, you've got the scroll down menu, depending on what channel that you're looking for. So we're just going to click on, see what we can get, Boomerang. We'll click on Boomerang. Oh. Okay, as you see, I'm not subscribed, but you can watch um, all the episodes. Now, if you have subscribed and you've still got the key, what you do, you click on it. And then you should come up saying I've subscribed. Yeah, so I've upgraded. So you just click that if you've upgraded. If you haven't, do not hit it um, because they actually do a little test. And if you have um, upgraded, you have access to it straight away. If you're still not getting access, what you have to do, which is kind of annoying, you have to sign out of the app and re-sign in. So now we'll look at the live event um, or your live. Now you can look at the guide like this. Have a little look through. Now, anything with a key, obviously you're not subscribed. And things without the key, obviously you're subscribed. And it does look glitch. If you see down the bottom there, you can't read what it says because there's two lots of writing on top of each other. So that's a little glitch that they need to bring Foxtel now to the um, Blu-ray players. We'll go down in a bit more. Okay, so when you get to the, um, the last channel, which is 801, you cannot go any more down. So now you've got to go this way and start. So as you see, you can just go through the channels. Now, to bring it up full screen to get the other little menu, you're going to just want to hit the blue button. Now, it will be different on whatever device you're on. So obviously then you can just go through the channels, look through all that, and basically just do that. Look through them, click on them, now, if you try to click on um, something with the key, you're going to get the same menu. So, we'll hit OK because we're not subscribed to that. Okay. And yeah, so that's basically um, Foxtel Play on the Blu-ray players. If this helped at all, send us a comment down below. We'd like to hear your feedback. And tell me if you guys are using Foxtel Play on your Blu-ray players. Is it good quality? Is it not? I've noticed on some of the channels that they're not actually in HD. That's because Foxtel Play doesn't support HD at all. 
So that's why they've made Foxtel now, obviously, to support HD. So hopefully it comes very soon to Xbox and all the other devices. I'm hoping it comes to Apple TV. Would love to hear your device that you want it to come to down below. Maybe um, the Roku's. Now, Roku's aren't really in Australia yet. Um, you've, got the, you've got the Telstra TVs, but when you sign up for a Roku account, there's only really a couple of countries you can pick. One, the US and the UK, and you can pick Canada and all that, but you can't actually pick an Australian um, Roku account. They might have updated that. The last I looked at that is about six months ago, and um, they didn't have an Australian, you couldn't make an Australian account. So hopefully you liked the video. If you did, subscribe for more. Catch you guys in the next one.